with your interaction with children has there been any fascinating moment for you which you've not forgotten or which shifted your entire thought process of life itself mm. okay uh, um it's like uh, if you see the the rural children when i've done origami okay you generally think that they have never folded paper before and they're probably you know struggling for day to day living right okay so and then you're having the same thing doing it in ncta or somewhere mm. where you know i mean they've done craft and all that so you find the rural children are they they're able to catch the folds much faster than than somebody who's privileged you know? so, okay. so, okay. so yeah so that was that was very fascinating that they they picked up so fast i mean that so something which they you know never done before you know, so. okay okay and uh, what, what you did you speed? dissect yeah <laughs> what did you dissect to, to find out what is it is it the curiosity element because if they're doing it for the first time they're far more uh, involved I, i guess so the curiosity would be one and second maybe what do you call street smart of mm. of doing it or, or not being afraid to fail mm. you know so so even if they fail they were ready to take the next paper and and do it quick you know so so they didn't care about the number of times they failed where where a person from uh, an educated kid okay is like uh, i'm not getting it can you help me <laughs> so 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 they're getting stuck more quickly than the where the self discovery is much more in a rural kid yeah so okay and uh, the stuckness that you just spoke about uh, i'm sure you see it a lot with adults and the uh, you i'm sure can uh, decipher an attitude uh, shift that happens when people are getting out of the stuckness because coaching is all about getting them out of that stuckness right. so has origami worked as a metaphor for helping them to i don't know if there's a word in english but unstuck themselves or get themselves yeah, yeah. out of it like something i love that word unstuck okay so <laughs> so i use my my term is unfold <laughs> okay so <laughs> called unfold yes so so it's using origami is also work and i also use uh, like i i told you i use connections so my primary thing was you've seen this model before okay that's this one right you've seen this mm-hmm. which uh, which is part of the with yeah, now this is very good can you please yeah yeah, yeah so this is the salt cellar hmm. model and this is the model which the uh, which i use in the coaching system which is called the uh, three conflicts and it has the six quotients if you unfold further and you unfold even further and you get the nine intelligence or the nine types okay right so and then you have one quest so so this is called the 3691 system which i do now part of this whole thing is um, now if you see the colors which is the red yellow blue okay so i use the same colors which is uh, which can stick besides the fold and the same thing i and i have and as a coaching uh, i'm also a palmist i read the palm okay so so now i correlated the same colors or the same forms now the the three uh, conflicts are basically artha kama and dharma or uh, pathos ethos and logos or satchit ananda okay so or what how and why okay so so basically you will find these three in many philosophies and many yeah. things now if you take the same thing which is not there before so i put it as the line of heart line of head and line of heart i mean so line of life line. right so so again the three lines the three primary lines and again you connect those you can collect those colors to the same lines so so now this is one thing which um, i would say once you connect in to find uh, the only word which i have to the source okay you will find any form you can take any form and tell this philosophy so it doesn't matter that right now i'm having origami and i'm having palmistry and i'm actually telling the same principle to to get somebody unstuck out of it okay right so but i could tomorrow use any other form i could use any other form which and in a lot of ways some of my clients have their own their own forms right their own fascination their own art forms their own philosophy so, so it's where that one thing which you told me about so i'm able to connect to that form so sometimes when it's a one to one you're able to actually connect to what they are talking about what they are fascinated but you will find that the principle is the same the 3691 principle which i have arrived at is pretty much there in a lot of philosophies and if you get them connected to that then then they will catch uh, their 
wine and they'll be able to climb out of wherever they are <laughs> so that that's what it is all about yes <laughs> <laughs>